what you are looking at the screen is not one of those cases when rail accidents are about to happen. This machine on the screen is a rail grinder. Railway tracks that experience continual use are more likely to experience corrugation and overall wear. Defects and vertical shortwave irregularities significantly influence the maintenance of railway tracks and the train safety and hence they need to be detected and eliminated in early stages of formation. The wear of the tracks has impact on the locomotive movement especially in areas where more tractive force is necessary like in gradients. Rail grinders are used to grind the tracks when rail corrugation is present or before corrugation begins to form on the tracks. The track wear is more prominent when railway corridor has higher freight train passage. In freight train corridors, rail grinders are used for track maintenance based on the interval of tonnage rather than time. Rail grinder equipment may be mounted on the self-propelled vehicle or on a dedicated rail grinding train which when used on an extensive network may include crew quarters. The European standard EN 13231-5 defines the procedure for rail profiling, also provides the details of the different types of defect in rail and how much reprofiling needs to be done depending on the defect type and speed application of the track. The effect of grinding depends on the type and capacity of the machine and the operating speed. The volume of removed steel depends on the number and power of grinding modules as well as the operating speed. So folks, that's all for today. We hope you will click on the like button to support us and provide your valuable comments to improve our content. For more such interesting content, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.